Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to be talking about sorting 2D lists, or in other words, lists of lists. So to first understand this, what we're going to do is we're going to first sort a list of just simple data, no lists inside of it. So it might look like this. Wrong spot, Caleb. Type up here. There we go. So we'll just put some numbers in here. And then to sort this, what we can do is say print, and in here we'll say sorted, and pass in data. In running this, we get 3, 5, 5, 7, 10, 11. So you can see it sorts it from least to greatest. Well, a similar thing happens when we are sorting lists of lists. It looks at the data in each of the lists and sorts it element by element. So we're going to replace this data here with a bit more complex list here. Let's just put a couple lists and throw some data in each one of these. We'll do 10, 2, 3, 10, four, and then we'll do four, five thousand, six, and it doesn't really matter, you can just put whatever you want in here, but if you want to follow along exactly, go ahead and copy it exactly as I have. And then lastly, we'll just have a list with the number 10. And run this, and we'll see what the result is. So you can see here, this is the sorted output, and when it does this, it looks at the first element of each list. So the very first one, we have four, and the rest are 10. So 10, 10, and 10. So four is gonna come before 10, so that is why this entire list is at the very beginning. If there happens to be a conflict where the first element is the same, such as these three, all of these, the very first element is a 10, it will then look at the second element. The first one of these three doesn't have a second element, so that one's automatically going to come first. For these two, at the very end here, the two is going to come next because two is less than four. So that is how lists are sorted when you have lists of lists. You can do a similar thing with strings. So let's just create another one here and test it out. Let's just throw some words in here. We got ball, we got apple, we got Amazon, we got A, and lastly we'll just go with Zen and then we will print data to sorted to see what we get. So run this, and let's take a look at this sorting now. So same concept here, it's going to look at the first element in each of the inner lists and sort them alphabetically. So A is going to come absolutely first, because it's a single character and that is going to be sorted first compared to a word such as Amazon. Similar to the same thing here where we had 10 come before 10 with extra data after it. You can see that the second word inside of this list here is Zen, and it doesn't even worry about that because it's already sorted such that this list comes first because A decides where it goes. Then the next thing on here is Amazon. That's going to come before ball, so that's why Amazon is here, and the one with ball and apple is last. So sorting a list of lists can be a bit confusing, so just make sure you go through some examples and understand how things are being sorted. It first looks at the first element of each list, if they happen to be the same, it'll look at the second element of each list. If the elements are strings, it's going to go character by character. So the first element of each of these lists starts with an A, but the A by itself comes before A with extra data after it. That is why it is sorted in that manner. If we had something on here such as AMZ, now this would come after Amazon because AMA comes first. So we run it now and Amazon, the list with Amazon comes first. Then AMZ, Zen, and then lastly Ball. So hopefully that is nice and clear, clear as mud as they say. And in the next video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can customize the sort a little bit. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to smack that sub button, you know, help me get to a million. That's my goal for this week. So stay tuned, I'll see you then.